April 14th. Oh, no, we're not. We're on April the 13th. Less is more. Don't act grudgingly, selfishly, without due diligence. Or oh, to be a contrarian, don't don't overdress your thought in fine language. Don't be a person of too many words and too many deeds. Be cheerful, not wanting outside help or the relief others might bring. A person needs to, on, to stand on their own, not be propped up. Marcus Aurelius, Meditations 3.5. Less is more on April 13th. Don't be grudgingly selfish without due diligence or be a contrarian. Don't be dressed, don't dress your thoughts. Find language. Don't be a person to don't be a person with too many words and too many deeds. Be cheerful, not wanting outside help or to the relief of others. Others might bring. A person needs to stand on their own, not be propped up. Fine holiday in, in most areas of life, the saying less is more stands true. For instance, the writers we admire are to be masters of economy and and brevity what they what they have out what they leave out is just as important sometimes more important than what they leave in there is a poem by philip levine entitled he would never use He would never use one word when he would never use one word well none would do he would never use one word where none would do hmm he would never use one word where one would do and from hamlet the best of all from Hamlet. For he taught from Queen Gertrude after a long theoretical speech from Polonius. More matter with what more matter with less art. More matter with less art. She tells him. Get to the point, more, get to the point. Imagine, imagine the emperor of Rome, Marcus Aurelius, who, who his captive audience, captive audience and unlimited power, telling himself not to be a person of too many to, to too many words yourself next time we will like so less is more it's what you leave out not what you it's what you're le leaving out not what we've got in 
It's not what we had in, it's what we're leaving out. Less is more. Are we colouring our thoughts? Are we impressing people? Are we going out to impress people? Are we saying things just to impress? Are we being propped up? Are we seeking to be propped up by other people or other things? We need to learn to stand our own. That feels strong to me. People need to, people need to stand on their own two feet. I feel that I've been moving to try and prop up other people. And that action really is we, we're propping up ourselves. We feel if we prop everyone else up, we, are, we will be propped up. So we need to stand our own two feet. We need to stand up. We need to learn ourselves. We need to go on our own journey. We need to learn. We need to find out ourselves. And yeah, we can be cheerful. Be cheerful. Less is, the less is more approach. Lead out, yeah. We can lead out all this stuff, so much stuff out there, and asking ourselves, do we really need it? Get to the point, you know? More matter with less art. Keep it simple. Don't be talk, don't talk to, we don't need to talk too much. Just to impress. Get to a point, you know? We don't need to go around and round and round. We can get there quicker if we just be more clear and leave out all this stuff. Turf out unrequired stuff. So keep, keep your speech to the point and clear and cheerful. Less is more today. Don't act grudgingly selfish. About due diligence. Oh, be a contrarian. Don't be, don't be over, don't overdress your thoughts in fine language. You know, we're so much stuff out there. And we think we need to have it all. And we 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 dress our thoughts with all these things. I want this, I want I want a car, I want a house, I want I want to live in this place, I want that person, I want that amount of money, I want the next iPhone, I want. It's all this wanting and these desires. We're just colouring and unconsciously colouring. A person with too many words and too many needs, too many deeds. Yeah, we, I know people who have got three, four, five jobs. You know, they, they get up, they brush their teeth and then they're out. They, doing their deeds, coming home is shattered. And yeah, we're running around all this effort to just going out. But what, what's, what's the point? What is the point of it? Are we asking ourselves, what, why are we doing this? What is the point in this? Are we stopping to think? And maybe we can turf out once we sit down and actually think about our basic needs, we can simply say, keep it simple and say, oh, I don't actually need to do it. And realise don't, I don't actually need to do that. Or I don't need actually that thing. And we can slowly just get rid of stuff, mentally and physically. Yeah, we can breathe. We have a nature, we can drink water, we can rest. We have the internet. I assume you have, you have the internet if you're watching this. We have books, we have philosophy. 
So that's April the 13th. Enjoy your day.